Boca! Boca! <laughs> All right. Hello. Welcome to another Impartial Theories. We're starting off by talking about the all of this is about the Park Rangers, just straight up. It's just all about them. But we've broken it down into different like stories. There's there was so there's so much news about them from the from the conspiracy that they're crisis actors, to the conspiracy that that they that they're going they're trying to go overboard and get all guns banned type of shit. Basically, conservatives are scared of shit, and it leads us right into our first story, which is by the Washington Post, like asking the question why. The Parkland students have made pro-gun conservatives so mad, and basically, the whole the whole argument that um, the Washington Post makes is is that the Parkland kids, Parkland, um, that the Parkland kids actually have like traction and they can actually make ch- shit happen. Because and I I didn't believe that at the start of the week, but like right now, like low key, they're some of the most famous people in the country right now, and. Everybody listens to what like even if you don't follow them on Twitter, even if you don't even know who the fuck they are, this shit is gonna come on one of your social media pages because they're just that big, and yeah. what they're saying is just like it's Loki. I think is is a righteous cause. I don't know what you think, but well, no, I mean, so it's not like this. After the Sandy Hook shooting, there were some of the parents that got like pretty vocal and made a lot of media appearances, and I think even in Congress testified and that didn't really seem to push the needle too far um this does seem to be um it's already making change like, yeah i mean more symbolic change than any actual change but still yeah and i think it is because i think it is fair to say that uh these students have an agenda but not that there's anything wrong with that but like, like why the fuck wouldn't they have an agenda yeah and i would say it is like liberal obviously it's not conservative or like because conservatives don't really support gun control but yeah i mean i don't think that's i think that's fair to point out because yeah that's what a lot of people are like arguing is like oh why should we well i don't want to like give credit to that argument at all but i'm just like why should we listen to these kids they're you know they're kids or whatever but yeah I'm not saying i but I, I just to refute that it's like um they were in this tragedy that has like put the spotlight on them. I mean, it totally makes sense. Like if you're gonna have somebody advocate for something, and like let it be the people that it actually affects. Hey, a lot of their speeches and things that they've said, interviews they've done, have been getting widely circulated on social media. Um, yeah. Themselves, their twitters, all around the world. And now it's not just Americans watching; the whole fucking world is watching. And the, no, no offense, but the whole world is already starting to think America is a joke. And if they fuck up here, it's just gonna make them look even worse. Cause these are the literal kids that were in in that situation. Like their friends are dead. A lot of them, a lot of them brought that up in the in our next story. We'll talk about it in a couple minutes. But the the two main camps on this on the two main camps in the conservative party about these kids are either the trolls who are basically going all out saying that. These people are these people are fake. They're spouting conspiracy theories like they're crisis actors, like they've been coached. Especially Ted Ted Nugent, but and our Ted Nugent, I think he's a singer. I don't fucking know. Who he yeah, is, yeah, he's like a singer. Yeah, he rocks <laughs> guitar player. He's, he's been going on Fox News and using Facebook to say that the kids are actors who are being coached. And Trump Jr. is also retweeting shit from the far far right websites, basically saying that that they're fake and attacking this one kid david hoggs i think i think that's his name yeah this is just been and the other side is the more moderate side i would say reasonable but still not and they're basically saying that that the kids are not old enough to make their own decisions like what you're saying yeah they they can't they can't why are we letting kids dictate what adults do which is bullshit because you're gonna die and they're gonna be the people who actually have to live through the shit and they're protecting other kids like why <sighs> yeah well and so like the the conspiracy theory goes that yeah like these uh students are being well yeah that they're this <sighs> crisis or this tragedy happened and then these liberal elites got pulled out these crisis actors and had them start pushing the gun control agenda um yeah that's just really sickening 
because I mean if it had any merit to it then sure let's talk about it but it's like no I as soon as I started seeing this pop up I like so you can this David Hogg he's kind of been the center of attention and he has a YouTube account and like I went to his YouTube account I checked it out I watched the videos they're talking about it's like there was this thing where he was on a beach and like got uh had a incident or exchange with a really like tough guy lifeguard and then it like got on the local news there so people are taking like just a screenshot of him on the news in california from like six months ago and saying that proves he's a crisis actor it's like watch the video no it's not a crisis it's like it was a confrontation with an asshole lifeguard and like it made the news that doesn't have anything to it's just it's like frustrating because it's like sure it... and then what was the other thing oh people saying he was co he was getting coached by uh, a news producer and i've watched that video clip too and it's like yeah he's he's like talking to himself and like keeps pausing in the camera and like I don't know. I mean, I guess, can you just imagine trying to, like, talk to national news outlets after going through something like this? I mean, I would say it wouldn't be, I wouldn't think it's insane for somebody to, like, be pausing and, like, trying to collect their thoughts as they're talking, which is essentially what it looked like to me in the coaching. Yeah. The producer just keeps saying, like, oh, you're okay. Take your time. It's all right. It's like, not coaching. It's, conf it's like being, a, like, a... A caring human being especially when somebody is about to it's just basically just doing your job as a producer because you have to make sure he's he's not emotional he's emotional enough that he can still portray what like the feelings that he's talking about and also make sure he's he's not emotional enough that he's gonna fucking break down and fuck up what he was about to say like it's just being a good producer like who who gives a fuck even if even if they're coaching the shit honestly i don't give a fuck as long as he's like he's not a crisis actor so like why, why do people care? Like, they, they, they've already debunked the first argument that he's a crisis actor. Now they moved on to the other one that he's that they're coaching them, trying to make it seem more credible. But... Yeah. I mean, as far as I know, there's never been, like, a shred of evidence that there's even a such thing as crisis actors. Oh, there are. Like... The person that uses them is Trump. He actually got sued for not paying the people, like, the people to cheer for him, the people who sit behind him, especially that one black guy. <laughs> one of the people that he paid $50 on an event and trump didn't pay like even after like the election so they sued him and they eventually had to pay pay the people that that hired these people for them so, well that's like a like a political plan though, yeah, not yeah. necessarily like, like a crisis actor yeah, is like using a yeah. crisis to push it's the same it's the same kind of thing though it's similar but yeah. it's way more purple. sketchy yes yeah. 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 exploiting a tragedy and it all comes apparently all comes back to george soros like, yeah, but does. I mean that's what I'm saying. The, the the like this conspiracy is that the government is this is all part of the government's plan, and even they go as far as to say is like that these shootings are staged. By which government is Obama the person doing this shit? Obama who low key was blocked doing any like he didn't even have that much power when he was president. How the fuck is he doing this shit when he? Yeah, blocked? you know, actually I didn't think about that. It is kind of interesting because it's like, yeah, the Obama was pulling the strings, right? Now like it's how? like, so now it's the FBI because that's what people are saying yeah. too. Because like his David Hogg's dad is a former FBI, so people are like, oh, this is proof. Who gives the a FBI fuck? Is... That the FBI went and shot a fucking bunch of kids. At least now they're not saying it's fake. Are they, are they saying it's fake? I, I haven't heard that. I've heard... I think it was actually InfoWars that was pushing the Sandy Hook yeah. was staged. Right? You're gonna get kicked off YouTube. Yeah. I can't fucking wait. Well, moving on to the next thing, which is about the same fucking thing. There was a there was a um, town hall type of thing that, that Marco Rubio and the, L and the NRA held with the with the kids. And it was, it was bad. Like... <laughs> The the kids the kids will be, kids will basically just straight up asking questions like, um, like my daughter was running down the hallway she was shot in the back with an assault weapon this this is one of the parents like, I'm quoting him, he said it's too easy to get it it's it's a weapon of war, the fact that you can't you can stand with everybody in this room and say that say I'm sorry, and then the room fucking like, every like it was basically it was basically just. 
the pro pro gun right people pro pro um gun control people like eviscerating the pro gun people and Bu- rubio's response was just some dumb shit he was basically like you have to define what it means which i fuck i hate that fucking answer who gives a fuck <laughs> he's basically he was basically saying that there are two thousand other types of guns well that's like yeah that's your job as a lawmaker yeah. all right that's just been something interesting about marco rubio's kind of response to this he's like oh there's no point in laws like, like what it's like dude you're a senator you can't really say that like then what are you doing with your life you know then why why if if if, it's, if there's no point in laws why did they do the whole drug war exactly so why like why is it why marco we're going to support of legalizing all drugs you know? yeah because fuck it right and they went you and can't stop them anyway they're gonna everyone's gonna get them anyway so yeah. Why are they illegal? And this, this, and this, some more shit that the NRA told to the to the students. Dana Loesch, who is like the NRA spokeswoman, she and her husband, she she basically told told them, I don't. She's they they started to cave on the mental health shit, and now they're blaming it all on mental health. Like they're not even like, I would say a couple months ago they were they even for that, they they were kind of skirting a line between we agree and we don't, but now they they're straight up saying I don't believe that this insane monster. Should have been ever been able to obtain a gun. None of us support people who are crazy, who are a danger to themselves, who are a danger to others, getting their hands on firearms. And I think <laughs> apparently the crowd started like taunting them, basically just like the, the crowd got mad as fuck. And I would have gotten mad as fuck too, because that's like nah. That's some bullshit. Now you're basically saying that he shouldn't have gotten it because he was mentally unstable. Like nobody should be able to get that kind of shit ever. Like, uh, what the fuck do you need that shit for? And now they, they're proposing a bill that will raise the age from 18 to 21 still. That's still a huge chunk of crazy people. People who really shouldn't have these kind of weapons. Still able to get them. Like, they, when, when, they, when they talked about, about um, background checks and how to improve them, one of the students straight up said to, uh, to, the, to a congressman, my friends and I are worried that we're going to be murdered in our classrooms straight up and all those kids were in the front row you gotta remember that shit they were right there like talking face to face with these people <laughs> yeah i mean i don't know i've got a kid in school it is honestly kind of scary it's like yeah the whole fucking thing is wild and the, it just it just started to devolve into them just clowning on marco rubio like one one of the kids um we're, we're almost done okay. one of the kids um, asked him if he's going to take any money from the nra and he's he was basically say that no i'm still going to keep taking money from them because they're buying into my agenda which is yeah. still another bullshit ass fuck and it, just, it looks even worse now that um, all these companies have started dumping the NRA, like so many fucking, so many fucking like companies, United Delta, um, there was this bank that that take them that sells their cars. I forget what. The, it, it was is is a bunch of them. Let me. I, I think um, Hertz yeah. Hertz MetLife was the one that. I mean that was. <laughs> I feel like there was no way he could say no, like, at that point publicly. I mean... Yeah. He didn't know, but now... now because now isn't the, his, his campaign has received a million dollars? Yeah, and Trump, 30. Yeah, it's like... If he said that pub- publicly, like, the NRA wouldn't <laughs> give him any more money, so... Yeah. Not that I'm saying it's right, but it's just like, that's the reality of it, you know, like... And he knows that, too, so it's like... Is this gonna blow over before election no, comes again? No, this, and he this needs, is not he about needs to that blow next over. million dollars. Once, once those kids have, since if, if those kids still have Twitter accounts, it's never gonna blow over because you're not gonna let it rest. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like Rubio was rolling the dice there. I mean, yeah. it looked really bad for him. Yeah. Like he, it, yeah, it's questionable. Like that, that could have been it for yeah. him. Like he, he, did, he didn't, he didn't know what was about but, to happen. Though he didn't know about the yeah. whole boycott shit. Avis boycott, like literally. I didn't even know you could get all these fucking like d- discounts and like perks from being an NRA member. I didn't know lot, that either. Like really those, car rentals. Yeah. 
like you <laughs> wow it's not just not just car rentals like there's so much shit those hotels those car rentals those like high v type shit like basically you, you get a card the card your card is basically like a perk shit like i think triple a <laughs> windham hotels best western hertz enterprise avis simply life which shit the north american allied vans walmart <laughs> bass pro shops wow yo, <laughs> yo amazon hasn't said shit yet though but i think amazon is waiting for the shit to play out but and the nra is looking wait wait amazon gives nra players? yeah everybody what literally everybody like everybody gives the nra fucking walmart man Huh. Which that's that's a good perk for NRA members. No, actually, Jeff Bezos doesn't really. I don't know what what he doesn't say anything about politics. Yeah, yeah. He just keeps so. looking. <laughs> the way he looks right now though makes him make him look like a tough ass conservative yeah. man. Like before, I would have said he's a liberal, like a liberal like nerd. Nerd is not a bad word to me, but I would have thought that's what because that's what he was before. He was skinny and fucking like yeah. scrawny and shit. He looks like an alien, but now he looks like a... Now he can fuck you up. like a Vin Diesel. Yeah, <laughs> like he's bigger than Vin Diesel. Like, what? <laughs> Dude is big. <laughs> he yeah. looks like he has probably two... The clothes he wears, too, he looks like he has guns, and <laughs> he just looks like like a fucking like militia person. Like, was he... Was Elon Musk just making him look too... Like, nah. dainty? He just nah, had to... <laughs> Elon looks more dainty than him. Elon is more well, I'm of just like, saying, like... But Elon Musk is kind of known as, like, a billionaire badass. Like yeah, maybe. yeah. but he's more, like, a Tony Stark kind of badass, not a Batman kind of badass. Yeah. And, like, fucking um, Jeff Bezos is a Batman kind of, like, he's the person I would pick to be Batman, like, in real life. He probably can he probably has, like, some crazy shit. There's this one picture, yeah, just buffed the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, that picture. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah. He looks like he has a gun. <laughs> like he yeah. has a gun in a holster or some shit. It's just a jacket. The jacket makes him look like he's big. Yeah, he looks like he's like some type of like security agent yeah. or something. <laughs> like he's the secret service for Amazon or some shit. Yeah. And he's like by far the richest person. Yeah. In the world. Like he has one hundred and twenty something. But that's that's just because Bill Gates keeps donating billions. Yeah. Yeah. Bill Gates could be the richest person if he... Re- I don't think he gives a fuck about that anymore. Yeah. But the Mexican billionaire, Carlos Slim, is hot on his heels. And there's probably Nigerian billionaires that have way more money but will never admit it. Yeah. Because that's just the Nigerian way. <laughs> they, have, they basically have one, they have a hundred. Like, don't don't trust any number that a Nigerian person gives you. <laughs> this is coming off pretty racist, but fuck it. You're Nigerian. <laughs> fuck it. I'm not saying shit on that, but... Shit, I'll say it. Well, yeah, but... Don't well, Ghana yeah. and Nigeria have, like, a long-standing beef. Yeah, we, I don't even know why. I know <laughs> why, but, like, shit. No. Nah, they think they're better than us. Fuck them. <laughs> and the, the next thing that we're going to talk about is Trump's solution to the shit. Like, he already talked about bump stocks earlier in the week. Like, banning them, which... Honestly, I support, fuck it, Trump has done, if he does it, it'd be one good thing that he's going to do. But based on his track record, even of shit that his his fan base wants, his, his base wants, like, he does one out of the 12 things that he promises. So maybe this will be the one that he actually does. Yeah, but, I don't think anybody really cares about bomb. I mean, people care yeah, about getting I rid do. of him, but I'm saying, like, I think even, like, gun owners yeah, they, they, are kind of like, wow, this is kind of fucked. Like, it's, it's, the, it's the easiest thing you can do, low-key. Like, if you should actually just ban the actual gun that the bump stocks go on. Because, yeah, because yeah, people have definitely stockpile that shit. Yeah, and that's another thing, too. It's like, even if they were outlawed, does it mean the future manufacturing and sale? Or are they going to, like, compensate? I don't think that's really ever been on the table in the U.S. Just because that's... It just never really has, because that's what people, like... If anything would ever happen, it would be, like, future manufacturing and sale. But, like, the guns that are out there, it doesn't seem like anybody's going to do anything about that. Because that would be literally come and taking the guns, which is, like, the biggest... No, no. I don't think that's... People aren't going to... 
just give up their guns. Well, that's uh, no, that's what's gonna actually start the fucking war or whatever. Because <laughs> of fucking guns. Why do you, why do Americans like guns so much? I don't fucking get it. I really don't understand it. Like, yeah, I mean, I I think a lot of people it's just like they either like. it is like entertainment or hunting Still, why why a gun why like a full-on gun you can get an airsoft rifle which is pretty fucking scary already because there's metal pellets that shit can hurt you yeah like already those are scary enough like why do people like guns so much you just yeah i don't know it's just like an american tradition um, just guns <laughs> yeah uh shit well it kind of leads us into the next shit and Trump Trump's solution to the whole gun thing is to put more guns in schools which like I'm not even gonna fucking say shit it's just dumb it's just the most stupid shit that I've heard in a minute cause he wants to put he wants to put more more like he wants to make schools guns, gun free zones which they already fucking are and he he wants he wants to make sure those armed like those armed people in the schools and the reason, even though there was already an armed person in the school, he said the reason why he didn't do anything because he actually hid outside when the whole shit was going down. He said mm-hmm. the guy didn't love the students. He didn't care about the students. Like, isn't it his fucking job? Like, and what's what's to say that other people don't like the military people or vets and shit won't have PTSD? And you put a fucking person with PTSD in a school. I don't even think they want to be in those schools. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's just say. Let's just say. Let's paint the theoretical here that there is like a veteran teacher who owns like concealed carry and like would be happy to bring his gun to school. He doesn't have like, PTSD. Nothing wrong with him, which would be rare. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. Let's say given In that perfect world. they don't, and I mean. I don't know. <laughs> it's not possible, man. Something will fucking happen. Well, yeah. So, I mean, I think that's the whole thing is it just, like, changes the dynamic of, like, oh, some of your teachers could have guns. You're not really going to know which ones as the student. And, like, you're just knowing that your teachers have guns. But that's, like, part of what Trump wants to create because he wants to create yeah. this, like, so Atmosphere. school shooters won't come because they won't they'll... fuck around. Yeah. yeah. And, it's like, no... um... Some of them don't care if they die. This dude just got lucky and he wasn't fucking killed. I mean, I guess that's what I'm saying. So, like, Trump, if you want people to buy into this, like, I want to see, like, these teachers that want to kill. Because all I've seen is clips of teachers saying, oh, no, we nah, don't want guns. We, yeah. No, we're good. Like, I have not seen one clip of a teacher saying, saying like, yeah, give me a gun. Yeah. And so, if they, like, if there were just, like, plenty of these people out there because like in his tweet he said something like 20 percent of the teachers which i doubt like i bet maybe you'd get like one percent would they have to buy their own guns like they have to buy their own supplies (laughs) probably (laughs) but no i'm saying okay to give me like a like a full-length feature some like deep interviews with all these people that say they want to do this and why and then maybe we'll think about it but yeah there's the other thing that i've heard brought up is that if you have the SWAT team, like, so there's a active shooter. You got a couple teachers running around with guns, too. The SWAT team comes in. And just start shooting people. Yeah, and they see people like, running around with guns. They're not going to, how are they going to know who's who, you know? Because at that point, so it's shoot like, to kill. Yeah. Like, if they see you with a, that's just making a SWAT team. Well, even Marco harder. Rubio pointed that yeah, out. That yeah, that is dumb. So yeah. it's just like. But but now Trump, Trump has realized that that's dumb, and his newest thing is we should put, we, sh- we should, pe- people are starting to say that it's not because of the guns. It's because of the because of youth violence. It's because of the internet, movies, and video games. And he's saying there should be a rating system. There is. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for you to realize that. Yeah, there's literally a rating system on everything. Yeah. There's parental gu- like parental guidance, all this shit. Look, if the kids are watching this shit, it's because the parents haven't stopped them from watching this shit. Like it's not that simple, but logically, that's that's like there's enough safeguards that it's it's rare that it, it should happen and when it does like the youtube kids shit does outrage so it's yeah. already been a fucking thing like you can't go to a movie theater and watch a pg-18 movie like or r-rated movie if you aren't old enough they just won't let you do that 
to like what the fuck is he talking about he's just now he's just it's probably one of those things that were on his empathy list did you see that he had a oh list. yeah yeah i hear you yeah <laughs> which like wow honestly um well okay again on this to to be the the impartial theorist here um <laughs> wait what the fuck were we talking about <laughs> um ratings Oh, oh yeah. So like, violence. You... Okay, so I watched this video. I don't even know what the fuck it was, but maybe I'll if I can find it again. But they was like, I don't even think it was an American. It was like a Canadian or something. I don't know. But it was like they, he was a school shooter, and they interviewed him like ten years later or something, and he was talking about it, and the guy was like saying how he did play like a shitload of shooter games and like that's why he like that was kind of his training in his Mm -hmm. mind and he said like that he was also surprised because in the games like you have to shoot people more to kill them than you do in real life but on the other hand so i'm just saying like you have some deranged person who can't like clearly in the way i saw it was like this guy couldn't tell like reality from fantasy and like and that's mental illness is not yeah, so I mean, I think in that case, like, it, you could say, oh yeah, the violent games didn't help, but like, also, I don't think you can definitely say that they contributed to it, and even, I don't think you can even come close to saying that those alone contributed to it, like, because the, there's so, like, that guy seemed to have so much, like, he, he was just deranged and like a psychopath, and like, I mean, you could watch like old war movies or some shit like there's always there's always something yeah and i don't think it's i don't know i i don't personally buy into the violence or like viewing violence can creates violence i think that like i think in some cases it's it's cathartic like you don't play gt you play play gta to get that shit out of you Mm -hmm. so like once when you're done you don't want to go shoot somebody for real like you just do it in a video game and get that shit out of you because I, I do think human beings are are kind of predisposed to, like a little part of us is predisposed to violence and everybody just needs their way to get that shit out. Mm-hmm. That's why I honestly think road rage too is a, is a good thing for people. Except for when that results in like killing somebody yeah, or something. Yeah, but like getting, just peeping your horn and just getting the anger out. Like you need, a, everybody needs an outlet. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, also... I don't know, see, I've never really been that into it, like, I've never been, like, an online gamer and, like, shooting things, so I can't really, like, speak to the culture of it, but it's, like, I don't know, I don't think, I don't know, I don't, I just don't think that there's enough evidence out there to make that connection, and I there think it's definitely he just a said that. He just said that shit, just because he saw that shit from Fox, because Fox was saying that before. But. Well, yeah, and it's, like, the kind of, like, classic conservative culture war, like, they yeah. just want everything to be like Christian and like whatever those fucking fifties shows were. <laughs> like I'm trying to think of one, um, the Andy Griffith show. Or even like even Leave that, the even the Andy like, Griffith like, show, like he wasn't about guns. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. There was like somebody, like t- some congressman or something, like tweeted yeah, about Andy about Griffith, that. and then like I, I don't, it was on something, and then. They, like, found a clip from Andy Griffith, and he's, like, talking about why, like, he He doesn't doesn't carry a gun, because, like... He wants respect and not people to fear him. Yeah. Yeah. But we're running out of time, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've been following the story. We've been trying to get to the bottom of what's really going on on Trump's head, but, uh... Trump just straight up outed himself at CPAC, I think think he's trying to be sarcastic, but he's still... Yeah. He He at least acknowledged it. So well as, he because he joke. always says he always says it's real it's real tell yeah. somebody like come up and pull his hair I didn't see what the whole context was I don't even think it seemed like there was a whole yeah context, he just started talking just, about it yeah. it's just fucking Trump he just yeah but so he at least says he has a bald spot at least sarcastically so. yeah <laughs> just look at that I'd love to watch that guy speak oh god that's so awesome. I try like hell to hide that ball spot, folks. I work harder. Doesn't look bad. Hey, we're hanging in. We're hanging in. 
We're hanging in there, right? Together, we're hanging in. All right. Well, yeah, that's uh, all we've got for this week. So we'll see you again. Peace. <laughs>